say that we're falling off late. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Hi guys. I am with my best friend today. We're spending the day together. So, um, the big days, guys. But uh, the rest of the months are what? Off a bar. Off a bar. And we're in September. <laughs> and I'm a member. I'm a member. So, we are off to the DSTV Delicious Festival. Um, where are we going to be again? Um, the Absa Marquee. So, we're going to be at the Absa Marquee. Guys, like, because I we didn't know about this till I didn't even know that yesterday. First of all, yeah. Me. But then I only got my ticket today, so like I couldn't even stick to the theme because I don't have anything that. Um, yeah, I couldn't stick truly to the theme, so I just wore something comfortable and something that I'll be able to last in all day. So yeah. I'll basically show you guys what I'm wearing when we get there. But Sandy's also wearing a dress. She looks cute, I think. Maybe yeah, I my have outfit. No outfit. Yeah, I but it looks like cute. My outfit is questionable. Like, it's really, really questionable. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. But I wonder. Someone's quite funny. But yeah, I just thought I'd come show you guys. And then I put my clip ins. But yeah, I, I think I did tell you guys that I can't relax my hair anymore. So that's why it's like super, super bumpy. This is how it's going to be from now looks on. Nice. Things, but it's not my super sleek, you know. Everyone was like, You're, those, those you and your, those days your are over, yeah, I mean, for now, for now, they're off now, but we'll be back. Uh, we're back, we're back, like we never left. Huh? Uh, so, I mean, it's supposed to be going that way now. We've arrived, we're just going in now. There's like a whole lot of people you guys can't see, but I'll show you. Oh, don't kill me, please. <laughs> Traffic light is closing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> because we are important people. <laughs> VIP. <laughs> very important person. A very important person. Me. Who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> you. Very important person. Me. Hey, you don't know. Uh, now you know. Now, now you know. She's putting all our, our cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able. To win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space she leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll be Is she on? Mm -hmm. There she is then This broadcast is part and to you. We're actually home now. Well, I've been here for quite a bit, but I thought I'd come show you guys my outfit that I wore today. So I wore these pants that I got from H&M. They sort of look like cargo pants, and they have these pockets here. And I got them when I came back from Australia. They're quite nice. They're very comfortable. They're high-waisted. You guys saw like in my previous vlog. I do like like really high-waisted pants. Um, and they were really comfortable. So I really did enjoy them. I think they were like 429 if I'm not mistaken. And then I wore them with my sambas, as you guys can see. And then I wore this crop here, which is from pick and pay clothing 
the belt is from H&M this bag is from Sheen I also got the strap from Sheen because it comes without a strap so my look was basically black and gold and then my earrings were also Sheen and then I just put in my um, clip-ins and I also had the strap from Sheen which really helps me wear my Apple watch because it doesn't make it like too obvious that it's like a spy watch when I'm wearing it so I'll try share the link in the description for any of you guys that might be interested in getting it but this was my outfit I really really enjoyed it I was kind of stressed about um, not sticking to the theme because the theme was like smart casual so I didn't really know like what people would be wearing but they actually were dressed very chilled and yeah i really like the outfit i feel like i'll wear it again and i feel like i'll wear these pants very often in the summer months um just with like different tops and yeah just can't wait to lose more of like my belly fat but i do feel like i'm starting to lose a little bit of weight even my laser lady was like oh you look so much better than you were when i came back from australia because i definitely feel like i did gain like a lot of weight but yeah um I also like my foundation it looked very nice like people were complimenting me and I mixed the NARS with the Dior so yeah I'm thinking of doing like two different makeup tutorials one with the actual products that I use because I feel like people would be interested in seeing that and then one with like affordable uh, products for anyone that would be interested so yeah this was the look Yeah, uh. I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no guts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy? Thinking of you, I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like it. <clears throat> so today is monday the 25th of september and obviously because yesterday was a holiday in south africa we then observe it on the monday if the holiday falls on a sunday so i am off to help my sister shoot a video and then we're gonna come back here and then we'll film my video together so yeah i'm leaving i'm just casual in a top and then i wore my adidas shorts these aren't so flattering as the other ones I have. I look like a soccer mom or something, like I'm going to watch my child play sports. But yeah, this is basically me. And I'm like this because my hair is super dirty and the video that I am filming involves my hair. So just best to like tuck it away. And yeah, let us get going. So I'm at my sister's and because I'm hungry, she's offered me to grab one of these bowls from her fridge. So I took this chicken one because the other one in there has falafel. I have never eaten falafel before and I don't plan on trying it today. So I'm just going to have this as my lunch. Hey guys, today is that day. Let's brighten this up. So today is Tuesday, obviously our fake Monday and this is the outfit of the day so let me just brighten up a bit more um i'm wearing a top from a mr price it's just a plain t-shirt and then i paired it up with these green pants from zara i got them from zara they're quite long so i wore them with my supergas because these are like platform shoes so it makes sense and that way i don't have to wear heels and then i've just put my jersey at the top because um 
it is quite cold funny enough end of september it is cold this should actually be the beginning of like proper spring but it's not so yeah i'm leaving the house now i'm running more office errands again and then obviously going to head into the office but this is what i look like super chilled super comfortable and i'll decide if it's very cold outside then i'll put my jersey on if not i'll just um have it over my shoulders that way um i can put it on whenever i'm cold but yeah this is my look for the day and i really really like it Let you try to catch you falling instead i fell off myself and i just can't stop falling these wings are gonna flap for me if i keep waiting keep waiting keep waiting keep waiting keep waiting how did i get so dizzy thinking of you i don't usually get like this i don't get like it sometimes so I actually haven't been on the camera for a couple of days now but I just thought I would come and show you guys my brows so I got my brows done today I got them redone if you guys remember I think I got my brows microbladed either last I don't know if it was last year or 2021 I don't know if it was towards 2020 the end of 2021 I think it was towards the end of 2021 when I got them done. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. I'll put like the date here if I actually do remember. But if you guys remember, I actually didn't like the way they did my brows because they were too far apart. And my hip sister kept telling me like, no, they look okay. And I was like, no, they look way too far apart and stuff like that. And like the healing didn't really heal properly. So that was one other thing as well that I didn't like. And um, I wanted to get like hair-like strokes. But then it ended up healing like a shade, like, um, what do you call it? it? looked like it was shaded. Yeah, it was shaded. So I basically found somebody else who's super good at brows, who I wish I had found the first time I did the microblading because then I would have had like hair-like strokes throughout. So if you guys can see, I went and I redid them, but the front, we did hair-like strokes. But because towards the end, but don't mind, they are going to get lighter. Today's the first day, so they do look quite dark. And the next couple of days, they will look darker. But then they tend to fade to a lighter shade. And I just have scarring here from a pimple that I had. But if, if we come closer, you can see like here, it's the hair-like strokes, right? And then we had to shade the rest because from my previous microblading, it looked as if it was shading so even if she did the hair like strokes we're not going to be able to see them and she didn't like they were not going to heal well and because she couldn't see where the actual blading was because she can't go over that one um otherwise it will cause like hectic scarring and stuff like that she has to go like over a different area so yeah basically that's why we did the shading but i like them they're much closer now obviously they're not identical but i think they look very symmetrical if you guys can see um so yeah and the other thing that i liked as well so i went to um rebecca da fonseca i think and um her company is called artistry so it's artistry by rebecca but one thing if you're booking just know you will wait for almost one to two months i think that's almost how long i waited for my booking um but the one thing i loved is that she literally preps you the numbing cream she puts like you literally can't feel the blades if you guys remember the last one i did say i could feel the pain this time i was falling asleep i was literally literally falling asleep and i even told her towards the end i was like i'm so happy because the last experience kind of traumatized me and i was so scared to even go for my touch up because of the pain but this it's only pain after she actually did it and the shading i think it's sort of like the machine that they use for a tattoo i don't know i actually didn't see because my eyes were closed I actually need to moisturize my lips but yeah i just thought i'd come show you guys what they look like this is what they look like i really really like them i can't wait to see how they heal obviously and then i will go for my touch up as you can see like the front looks super nice and wispy and i now look like i actually have brows 
because the, the previous ones i had i feel like they faded and you couldn't really see them but yeah um i'm off to pick up my sister at the airport because she was in cape town so i'm just heading there now i just changed into like comfortable pants i actually haven't even made dinner so i haven't eaten um but yeah i just want to make sure i'm not late because it is quite late um so that at least by the time i get there she's arriving as well so yeah i just thought i'd come update you guys i will obviously give you guys more updates throughout as they heal and yeah we'll go on this journey together but if you're definitely looking to get micro braiding done i'll put like her page um instagram page here just for you guys to see like a couple of the brows that she's done i've seen her take people from having no brows to giving them brows which looks super super amazing which is very sweet so yeah it was a very good experience so yeah just thought i'd come on here and plug you guys with something i will leave her instagram on um the description box as well and you can come for me if i don't leave it this time because i always say i'll leave stuff and then i never do but yeah it's people today is saturday and I have a dentist appointment in about 15 minutes, so I need to rush and head out. But I just thought I'd come on here and say hi before we leave. I'll quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. This has become, like you guys know, this top is my favorite Erin's top. It's just so comfortable. I love the fact that it covers part of my arms. And um, it's a crop, so it's really cute. And it covers my chest as well, which is just super comfortable for when you're running errands. But I paired it with my Levi's jeans, as you guys can see. I need to wipe my mirror. Paired it with my Levi's jeans. They are quite long. So if you do get these, just know you'll always have to wear them with something that has a platform. So yeah, um, paired them with that. And then this bag that I got from Sheen, together with the strap. If you do purchase the bag, it doesn't come with the strap. You'd have to purchase the strap separately. I'll put the links in the description in case you're interested. And then, of course, the belt is H&M. And Apple Watch with the strap from sheen as well i have a package that i'll unbox with you guys when i come back but how sweet is my sister she went to cape town for the woolworths event and then she brought me two perfumes so one says tina and one says christine i like this one more it smells almost like the dkny the green apple the delicious um yeah and it also smells it almost also smells like um i think I'll remember the name and let you guys know later. But yeah. So I'm going to come show you guys my outfit. And let us head out. So as you guys can see, my uh, walking pad is literally under my couch. So that I can easily slide it out. Use it when I need to. And then put it back. So yeah. Let us get going. So. I'm almost here. Is at the medical suites. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you. Just here. do my six month like yeah a while ago okay i really didn't think because we also year. did it towards the end of the year last year it's that long it's okay maybe seven no months. like okay. every time i'm like oh i'm gonna get the chance to like book mm -hmm. then i'm like either traveling uh, or something you're busy. Yeah. can i see that you travel please take me with like, I'm, I'm small i can fit you <laughs> Because you guys are always traveling, I'm like, oh my god. I wanna go with. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, any problems? Um, I'm good. Um, I had no problems, nothing pains, we're good. I'm happy. 
Okay. Um, any other problems with the teeth? Uh, no, no. Nothing at all. That you just need. To I just haven't been flossing enough. <laughs> let, let, let me kill you now. <laughs> I just, at least I'm being honest. I just okay. haven't been flossing enough. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Yeah. Okay, so there's no sensitivity, no pain, nothing at all. Then. No. Okay. So this is the analysis that I spoke about um, white hair. Remember the last time we spoke about white hair? Oh, I wanted to do it. Yeah. And, um, and I told her that lately uh. we've been doing a lot of in chair whitening and the results have been very impeccable. They've been awesome. Really? And yeah, and we've been doing the take home kits and the take home kits patients aren't as patient, you know, and um, they feel the results aren't worth it. Okay. Because they take the take home kit because of sensitivity. But I have recently learned that um, patients actually can take the three um, 20 minute cycles on the chair, um, right up after, just so when they when they come in, they, they take paracetamol first, mm -hmm. just so that the sensitivity oh, okay. is, you know, so, um, yes. So, um, <laughs> Yeah. So if you want like instant results, definitely that. It's going to sting. There's mm. going to be that sensitivity, yes, but it's transient. Um, it's sensitivity that only lasts for a day. Okay. So that's about it. And yeah. If I still want to try it. I think you should. Okay. I think you Can should. Say hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Nice. Okay. So right. today we're just going to be doing cleaning, and um, whenever you're ready, um, we're going to do uh, whitening. Okay. 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 Fine. Alrighty. Um, I actually did microblading. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's why. Is so. Is that good? Um, it's like uh -huh. the second day, so it's still healing. Oh, okay. So it's right now it's still dark, but. Was it painful? No, oh, okay. this lady that I went to was not painful. Nice, it's, it's beautiful. Man. Thanks. I, I need to go in and get my life in order. <laughs> yeah, like okay. the first place I went to was painful. I could feel them, like mm -hmm. every cut I could feel. Mm -hmm. But oh, with her, it. yeah, yeah, so it's like cuts. So the front is cut uh -huh. with pigment, and then mm -hmm. she shaded here because mm -hmm. yeah, the first place didn't do it so good, so she mm -hmm. couldn't do it all the way. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, I love your brows, but hey, now you're telling me about hey, you know if you need a break? Okay. And let's go for it. Let's see. You said you haven't been flossing. Uh -huh. Not bad. Definitely not bad at all. Do you want to hold it like that also? Is it a summer? The front half. Yep. The same way you used to, I require more. Blame, blame, blame. Basic bottom troll, what do you want greater? I am no wave, be surfing I show you what I get this pay, who I we stacking? Been in a whole lot of pain, now we laughing Me and Bane making plays till we crashing Yeah, yeah, yeah Don't need to be on the scene, we are the scene yeah. Dripped in water from head to toe, la baby me Yeah, I get what's mine Reminder, be my right. All gas, yes. no way they gon' never pay us. No way they could never break us. Oh, next we ain't gonna slow up now. All gas, stay down even when we not up. No way they could never break us. Right when I usually would have rolled out I know you're grateful that I stayed down We need to pass in the past, okay. that's all done I'm gonna hurt through it, right? Better here. Why did this close? So
so i'm done at the dentist and she said my teeth were not too bad actually for someone who has not been consistent with flossing so i will put the I'll put their details in the description box for you guys to go get your teeth cleaned. Should remember you should be cleaning your teeth, your teeth. You should be cleaning your teeth professionally every six months. I've been terrible at doing that, but for someone who stayed longer than six months, it wasn't too bad because her comments were that um, my tooth were not too bad. So she did give me a like a clean wash and then she also uses this toothpaste to sort of like smoothen out your your teeth so i will be coming back for teeth whitening because i definitely definitely want to try that so i'll definitely be coming back for that but now we are going to just drive over to santon city because i want to go to adidas um I, I, like i feel weird when i say adidas is it adidas or is it adidas but i feel like because it's german I'm kind of guessing it would be Adidas. I don't know. Someone who's German, if you from Germany, please help me pronounce Adidas. Um, but yeah, I saw these shoes. I actually saw them when I was supposed to go to Switzerland and I thought I would get them there. But then they didn't have my size online. So now I want to go see if they have them in store. And if they don't have them at the Adidas in Santon, I'll try to ask them which other one they have. But Setu posted them yesterday and I was just like, I need to go get them. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they actually have my size. They look similar to Samba's, but Samba's were tennis shoes i think and these ones are called special i think and they are i'm not too sure but i'll put whatever sport they're supposed to be but yeah let's go because i paid for my parking ticket and i actually shouldn't be in here for too long so every inch of our skin is the blueprint follow the lines they act like they forget let's remind them be my right at home i'm thinking of getting a painting i need your guys help do you like this one here it's textured and this is what it looks like and this is the price and the dimensions so maybe i should actually take a picture of the dimensions so i can measure at home and see where it will be or if not that one there's this one yeah but i feel like it's too warm i thought maybe i could stack them to like have two of them instead of one big one then they also have the um, one behind so you guys can see i don't know and obviously had to visit our apartment what did they change this time Ah, oh, they've changed. They put these. I actually have these two. I like how they put the plant in there. Nice. And they change the bedding. And they have a thing there. Oh, these are nice as well. But I still like the Corycroft ones. And then they changed our living room. It's only a nice living room. They changed the couch. I found this. Um, it's like a shower fizzy slab that you throw in the shower for it to smell nice. So I'm going to get one of these. And then I'm going to change up my linen scent to this one. Because I think I previously had this one. But I just want to switch it up a bit. So I'll get this. I'm at the new Curry Craft in Iloho. It's so pretty. I just saw these and I'm thinking of getting them to put like on my table. And they're quite affordable, $2.59. You just get like two like they've done and put them like that. I don't know what you guys think. And then I'm thinking 
of coming back for these little stalls. Let me show you guys. For these. These over here. I'm thinking of coming back for those. Like everything looks so pretty now. So you can see you can buy the two different layers, $2.59 for this one, $2.99 for this one, to so just like layer them together. why is it so dark but I'm back I just want to do like quick measurements of where the paintings would go just to see how it would look like so I need to look for it like a sticky tape or something so that I can mark and know but I'm trying to have them sort of like in the middle there so let's let's see shops i'm actually running late but i just thought i'd come on here i moved my clippings yesterday i'm guessing this vlog is going to be longer than normal because we've vlogged over a number of days but i'm trying out the perfume that my sister brought for me from cape town mm. it smells very nice and fresh that's one thing i can say let's see if she notices that i'm wearing something different today but yeah, um, let us go. Don't put anything on my face because I'm not allowed to. But I think I might put sunscreen at the bottom part. I'm back at Cory Croft to buy my bedside tables and the mirrors. But I'm going to show you guys the mirrors yesterday. Let me show you. I'm just going to get these here. I've been looking for them from the clearance center. And I never seem to find. So I'm going to get these. I feel like the last bits of this vlog are a little all over the place so I quickly just came home because I saw tools posting that if you uh, return your recyclable Nespresso parts to Nespresso you get like a free coffee mug and obviously I love free stuff and I'm supposed to be doing my grocery shopping anyways so yeah I'm gonna go drop them off and then I'm just gonna go try those adidas specials again um they're actually shoes for handball so yeah they're handball shoes but um just gonna go try them on with a pair of thicker socks just to see like how they sit because the five was quite good for my one foot but then my bigger foot it felt a little uh, but a lot of people are saying they have taken their actual size and I don't know if they would actually stretch because that, that's my issue. I tend to buy bigger shoes because in the beginning I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be too tight. And then it ends up stretching and it becomes too big. Like with my Adidas, um, which ones are they again? The Stan Smiths. I took a five and a half and actually realized I should have taken a five because they've stretched and they're way too big now for me. So I'm just going to take a, a pair of socks and see. And also one other thing is that I was seeing like the restock is only like I tried to check like the Adidas in Paris and the Adidas in Switzerland. And it's like the restock is only in February. So I'm just like, okay, clearly they're not going to restock. And if they didn't make that many size fives. 
maybe people have been buying them true to size so yeah we're just gonna do that i'm just gonna leave quickly so that i can come back and um i just had reverts from a campaign that i'm on so i just want to come back and film sections that i will add into that so that at least that can be sent for approval so yeah back home now i'm not even going to update my sister on me going to this so i got there and they're like the cups have run out because i know if i tell her she's gonna laugh at me the fact that i went all the way there just to get a free cup but i ended up doing some of my grocery shopping for the week um so i just wanted to come on here and show you guys the items that i bought this weekend so as i was at at home i showed you guys that i was getting this um linen spray i love to spray this on my bedding every morning i feel like it just helps to keep your linen fresh for longer um so i got that and then i also got one of these because i want to try it out in the shower so it's you know how we have bath bombs but this is almost like a shower bomb so it's like a fizzy and you throw it in the shower and it just makes the shower smell nice so yeah that's what i got and then i went to curry crop yesterday and i went there today again to purchase new bedside tables so i'll be posting those on instagram and if they're not sold by the time this vlog goes up you can just dm me and let me know i'll show you guys what they look like but let me show you this these candle holders that i got so i got these marble sort of like ceramic candle holders so this one's taller than the other one and i'll just put them next to each other so it'll be for my coffee table because i'm really really trying to like fully decorate my apartment now it can't be one year and i'm still trying to decorate so i got those and then i also got two vases because okay i actually don't own pretty looking vases for like my flowers or whenever i want to buy flowers and that's what puts me off so just to give you guys the pricing this was 2.99 but i got it 25 percent less and then this one is 2.59 plus 20 uh 25 percent less because of the opening store opening in the logo so yeah um i got one of these here so it's this shape and this was 379 plus 29 percent off so yeah i'm gonna start buying myself flowers in the apartment just to you know make myself feel great even if it's not like flowers i saw they also put eucalyptus in them which looked super great just trying to adjust the lighting maybe i should just remove these but yeah they put eucalyptus in the vases and it looked very nice and then the next one that i got is just a different shade shape so the next one is sort of like this longer version and this one was 279 minus 25 percent off so it kind of made sense to buy them now when they had the sale because i got them cheaper so yeah that's what i got from quarry craft and at home and then i'll obviously show you guys when the bedside tables arrive which i'm super super excited for i'm gonna have to go pick them up because i didn't want to pay for the delivery i'm a cheapskate like that so i'll show you guys when the bedside tables arrive and the side mirrors i got side mirrors as well which i'm super super excited for and then another purchase that i made which i'm still not so sure about is adidas i thought you guys saw me trying on the adidas specials I went back because I really really wanted them and the guy told me he doesn't think they actually make them in half sizes and the six was too big so I took the five and I'm gonna try it on again just to see how I feel about it and if it's still too small like from at home I'll take it back but if I do keep it it means I can't wear it with thick socks which is still okay I think I'll just have to planet but it's really nice someone will say if you have a samba why did you want this one they're two different shoes and i feel like you can pair them differently they do look similar but they're different but then now maybe i should have taken this one is just slightly bigger but then it also looks skinnier as compared to if you see 
almost the same thing but then the six was like way too big so maybe if this one stretches it will be fine if not yeah i'll have to take it back so i'm really really gonna try fit them on with like socks and see if i'm able to like lost in them and then if not i'll take them back also the other thing is that my nails are like so outgrown so i was thinking maybe that could be the reason why they're feeling the way they were so i'm getting my nails done on friday so i'll retry these again on friday and if it doesn't work i'll just take them back like yeah so that's it up that's about it that i got this week um i think i'll end the vlog here because i think this one is going to be quite longer but i hope you guys enjoy it i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe comment and let me know um what you'd like to see more on the channel lots of love bye